Welcome everyone to day six of Kim Grant Tennis Academy Online Lessons and here Coach Elvira and Rima as always. So today we're gonna work on balance and coordination for our fitness part and for our tennis part we're gonna review everything we just learned in the past three four lessons and we're gonna do the star drill and I'm sure you will love it. Okay for those we will need uh, we will need eight markers today, but if you don't have markers, it's okay. What's important is that we do it the, mo the motion that we did before. And you're going to need a tennis ball for some exercises, and you need a tennis racket. And remember to hydrate and wear proper shoes. Perfect. As always, we're going to start with the warm-up. For the warm-up, you will need one cone, so put it next to you. And you just need yourself and... A lot of effort. Okay, ready? And we're gonna start in three, two, one, and go. Okay, we're just running. And okay, we're gonna run for 30 seconds. Again, you, you can chill right now if you run before. That's what you were supposed to do, right? Yep. Yep. Okay, but we are warming up. Stay with us. Knees higher, shoes are soft, and face relaxed, right? Shoulders are not uh, up by your ears. Again, involving the arms. Three, two, one, stop. Okay, you're gonna stand on one leg and you're gonna do the kick with another leg. So, the leg that you're standing on is not completely extended. It's a little bit flexed, so do not lock your knee. And switch legs here we go another leg and here we go extend that knee beautiful a keep your balance stay there stay there three two one good job okay another exercise for the balance so you're standing on one leg your arms are creating the t and you're drawing a circle by one leg and then you're drawing circles by your arms at the same time so we are working on the balance, right? And on the coordination at the same time. And a couple more seconds. Come on, stay with us, stay with us. Make sure that your back is straight and you're not leaned on the side. Let's switch. Okay, another leg. Okay, good. If you need to restore your balance, put your leg down. Find a perfect position again and start over, but do it properly. Here we go. Couple more seconds, keep going and change the direction now counterclockwise with the same leg. Here we go, beautiful. And you got it, you got it, you got it. Three, two, one, good job. Okay, this time you will need an imaginary jump rope and you're gonna jump the skis while another leg is going on its heel. So you're jumping forward and you kick that leg on the heel. Here we go. We're gonna go for another 20 seconds. Keep going. Again, shoulders are not shrugged. Your arms are not by your shoulders. They're relaxed over here. When you're landing on the leg, make sure that you're landing on the front part of your shoe and you're not slamming on the heels both times. Okay, and done. Yes. Okay, this time you will need a cone so I'm gonna grab a cone as well, or a water bottle, or a bowl. And what you're gonna do, you're gonna bring one leg up and try to touch the cone without losing the balance. So, do the squat, touch the, co or touch the cone, or the water bottle, or marker. And yes, here we go. Bring that leg out. Here we go, make sure that your back stays straight. Here we go, and enough. Okay, another leg. Here we go. Again, you're not doing it by rounding your back and just, but you're doing it by squatting. Here we go. If you want to make it more advanced, you can do a pistol squat. Here we go, and last. Good job. Oh, that's a good one. Her cone is lower. Okay, so put it aside. We're gonna warm up our hips and we 
we did it last time, last Friday. And make a circle with your hip. Do it from inside out, inside out. The right hip, the, it, the leg is bent in the knee. So you can bring your arms up to find your balance. Let's go from inside in now, not inside out, inside in, same leg. Keep that balance in. You can hold on to something because right now, yes, we are working on the balance, but the main part is focused on the warming up that hip joint. Okay, another leg. Now we are warming up inside out, inside out. Oh, I'm losing my balance. No, nope, not yet. There we go. Hang in there. Warm it up, warm it up, warm it up. It's easier to do when you walk, you can do that. Okay, now inside in. Here we go, a couple more times. As I said, if you, it's easier for you while you're walking to warm it up as you walk, do that. Okay, good job. We're gonna warm uh, up our back just a little bit by doing a windmill stretch. So bring your uh, leg wider than your shoulder width. Get down and touch the center underneath you with your left arm and bring your right one up to the sky. And reach up to the sky with your right arm. Okay, reach up, reach up, reach up as high as you can. Keep stretching this. At the same time, you wanna feel the stretch in your side muscles on the left side if you're touching the center, if you're touching the ground with your right arm. Let's switch. If you're touching the ground with your left arm, you need to feel the stretch in your, on your right side. Here we go. Couple more seconds. No lower back injuries. That's the worst you can have because lower back connects upper body with the lower body. You don't want any injuries there. Okay, here we go. We always do the fitness. Yes, let's go. And grab a couple cones, put them on the side, grab a ball, put it on the side as well. We will need it just for one exercise. Okay, and we are gonna start with the fast feet and then we're gonna do the jump. So we're gonna start in 20 seconds and what you're gonna do, you're gonna do four jumps forward, then one, two, three, okay, four. Here we go, one, two, three, four, beautiful, and jump. And we're gonna start in five seconds. Ooh, let's go, everybody. Okay, you can do it as fast as you can. Here we go, and ready, and go. One, two, three, four, and switch. One, two, three, four, and jump. Make sure that you change the direction where you jump. So not just counterclockwise or in clockwise. Change it up and make sure that your feet are very soft. Don't shrug your shoulders up. We're gonna go for another 10 seconds. Keep going, keep going, keep going. You can bring your knees a little bit higher if you want, but that doesn't make a difference this time. And done, Ooh, yes. Go. Okay, the next one is gonna be a very, very tennis related exercise where you're gonna bring your whole body down and get into the low stance. And you're just gonna shuffle from side to side. We've got 10 more seconds left. And when I'm gonna clap my hands, you're gonna change the direction. So when Rina goes to the right, shuffles to the right. And when I clap, she's gonna go to the left. And go. So the main thing here is that her knees, her shoes are not clapping each other, against each other. So they're always the same distance apart. Beautiful. Good job. 15 more seconds. Your bum should stay very low and knees are very soft. Yes, five more seconds. Here we go, three, two, one, Woo. done. Beautiful, yeah. here we go, good job. Okay, this one's gonna be a little bit harder. Ooh. Put your cones in one line, put the four cones, they shouldn't be too far apart, that's not the goal here. And you will need a ball, and we will focus on our feet skills. So imagine you're a soccer player, you're gonna go in a zigzag, and you're gonna work on your coordination. So don't think Ooh. just because you're, you're a tennis player, you don't need to know how to do this. Ready and go for 30 seconds. So again, no rush. Feet are very easy. Make sure that you're not slamming the floor because you will just lose it and you will lose your time. You will waste your time by chasing the ball but not actually working on that little feet 
water skills. 10 more seconds, take your time. Go around the cone, beautiful. Five, four, three, two, one. Wow, Did it, wow. yes, yes, yes. Woo. Okay, and the plank. My favorite. Yes, so we just added a little something to work on our core, to work on the stability at the same time. So we're gonna get in the push-up position, not the plank position, but the push-up position. Uh, and you're gonna touch, okay, and you're gonna bring the left arm up as your right leg goes up. So the opposite arm and leg goes up in the air. And go, here we go, good, 30 seconds. Take it slowly, no rush. Just make sure that your hips are not opening up as you do this. They are staying the same. You don't need to bring your leg too high. Just make sure that your body stays at the same position. And 10 more seconds, stay with us. If it's too hard, just bring your arms. Don't bring your legs and then bring your legs without bringing the arms up. And done. Yes. Okay, good job. Grab, grab some water, grab a, grab a sip of water. Here we go. Good. And we've got one minute rest. Good job. Those are hard exercises, especially I think the soccer uh, zigzag drill is pretty hard. It actually works on your um, eye coordination. It works on the control in your feet. So it might, might be very natural for the soccer, soccer players who did it since they were little, but for us, it's pretty hard. So we need to work at both. So it really helps with that fast feet motion that we are doing on the court, change of the direction. That makes a difference. Okay, we've got 15 more seconds and we're gonna start with fast feet where you go four times and then you jump over. If you want to make it a little bit harder, you can make two jumps and then jump over for 180 degrees. And we're gonna start in three, two, one, and go. Here you go. Okay, so you can do four jumps, you can make three jumps, two jumps, or one jump. Just depends on your skill level. If you can jump up and jump over many times in 30 seconds, go for it. Again, your feet are very, very soft. 10 more seconds, stay with us. Don't shrug your shoulders, keep your core involved. Your abs are involved, your back is straight. Don't bring your neck down, so make sure that your chin is looking forward. And done, Ooh, yes. yes, good job. Okay, the next one is the shuffle. So, this exercise as well, very tennis related, where you change the direction very fast, for example, coming from that forehand and going for that forehand again, that really helps. So we're gonna put it sideways so you could see how Rina changes the direction. Ready? And go. And switch, switch, it's okay, switch. Just don't stop. Make sure that even something interferes, keep going, finish the exercise, then deal with it. Yes, keep going, up, feet are soft, 10 more seconds, relax your shoulders, and please involve your core, here we go, five more seconds, you got it, switch, 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 done, <laughs> okay, good job, okay, put those cones for the soccer drill, grab the ball, and again, here, no rush at all. Just make sure that you do it properly and control your feet, actually. Okay, we've got Ooh. 10 more seconds. If you didn't smile yet, please smile because we're doing this for fun, to get better, to get stronger again, yes. to enjoy tennis, right? Okay, go. and go. Yes. Beautiful. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, I Ooh. think. Ooh. Rina is doing an awesome job. You can Google actually how Djokovic or Nadal or um, um, many actual women uh, tennis players know how to do a lot of soccer tricks. Beautiful. And three, two, one. Yes. Yes, sure. Here we go. Okay. And plank. Yay. So, again, remember you can make it more advanced by bringing the same side 
limbs up. So if your left arm goes up, your left leg goes up at the same time. But if not, just stay with the opposite ones. Three, two, one, go. Okay. Or if this one is too hard, again, you can bring your lips separately. For example, right arm goes up, left arm goes up, right leg goes up, left leg goes up. So you can mix it up as many ways. Okay. And 10 more seconds, back is straight. Ooh. Smile on your face. Here we go. Here we go. Beautiful. Three, two, one, done. Ooh, done. Yes. And the bonus drill from Rina. With the ball. Okay. And we did it last time where you go fast feet and you drop the ball at the same time. Ooh. Ready? And 10 more seconds. Take your time. You can do it with one ball. You can do it with two balls. So just, that's a bonus drill. So it's optional. And go. Okay, fast feet. And you start juggling. Great job. Yes. And you can move around and take your time. And no worries if you lose the ball. That's not the goal here. Just keep going and keep going. And 10 more seconds. Nice soft knees, back is straight, and five seconds. Here we go. Or you can drop the balls at the same time and catch at the same time. Done. Yes. Yes. Good job. job. And Ooh, awesome time. job with the fitness part. Ooh. Grab your sip of water, and we're gonna move our camera so we could do the star drill and see you in a yeah. second. Here we go. Okay, and as we said in the beginning, we're going to review everything what we learned before. So we're going to re uh, review the angular steps, we're going to review the uh, right, 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 left, left, right, left shots. We're going to review 180 shots and we're going to review the running with the break step on the wings shots. So, um, you don't need too much of markers, we put the uh, lines over so you could see the happy zone. But for yourself, you can, you can put the pieces of tape or you can use the cones that mark the direction you're running. But if you, could, if you have a good imagination and an understanding of the chord, you don't need anything at all, actually. So, we're going to start with the drills. We're going to start with going forward, forehand 180 and backwards, and backwards, forehand 180. That's all. We're going to spend one uh, drill for every single direction. And we're going to start in... Three, two, one, go. Okay. And forward, bring that full right uh, hip around when you go forward all the way. So you create a 180 angle. And when you're going backwards, you bring your left hip up and you push the ground. So you push the ground and you push with your right hip. And we're going to go for another 10 seconds. Come on. And make sure that you're working on your tiny loop as you're running forward. You bring your racket in the full swing and done. Yes. Ooh, good job. Okay, good job. So this time we're gonna work on 180 backhand. So you're gonna go forward 180, bringing your left foot to the 45 degrees, right? Not all the way forward. And when you run backwards, you push up with your left hip, push the ground, and you bring your right leg around. Okay, we've got 10 more seconds of rest. Ooh. And breathe in, breathe out, get ready. Always. Make sure that your shoes are always soft. Ready and go. Here we go. And bring that leg around, not fully around. Okay, beautiful. Make sure that you're doing the shock absorbers. That's what I was talking about. Soft shoes means that your knees are bouncing up and down as you go forward and as you go backwards. Here we go. Your racket, as you run, your racket doesn't go up and down. It stays on the same level. And done, yes. Ooh, okay, yes. 30 seconds. Next direction we are gonna work on is gonna be angular. So you're gonna go forward, forehand, angular, and then backwards, backhand, angular. Yes, and then your feet are facing the center, uh, perpendicular to the center, and backwards. So your uh, legs are staying the same direction you're running. Here we go. Ready and go. 
Make sure that your body stays low. Good. And we did the exercise this, uh, for, this, for this fitness part where you're shuffling and your body stays very low. That's where you can actually use it. Bring that right leg around. Here we go. Do the break step here. Five more seconds. Break step. And one more time. And break step. Ooh. Done. Yes. Okay, another Ooh. angular where you go forward with the back hand and backwards with your forehand. And again, so your body stays the same direction. Well, I was talking about forehand. Sorry, with the back hand, can you show again? So you bring your left hip around and you step with your right foot towards the ball and push off the ground. Five more seconds. Yes. And go. Here we go. Bring your left hip around because you're doing right, right, left, right. And here you're doing right, right, right. Left, left, right, left. And right, right, right. Yes. Make sure that your shoulder, you're bringing your whole body around. You bring it over. Here we go. And break step. Ten more seconds. Stay with us. Good. The lower body, though, stays within the direction you were running. Here we go. And then. Ooh, yes. yes. Okay. Two more. Two more. Stay with us. Then you will have a break. A good break when we are going to swing the next room. So, now you're going to do right, 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 left, left, right, left. Here we go. So, you're just moving along the baseline. Again, no clapping. Make sure when you do the split step, your core is involved. Here we go. And three, two, one, go. And you can notice when Rini is running, she's not stopping herself to do the split step, right? She's running through the split step. So as she runs, she does the split step and turns at the same time. So split step and turn. So that way you really get a couple more seconds to save that time. Five more seconds and shuffle. Shoes are not clapping when you're coming back. And split step, turn. And Ooh. done, yes, good job. Okay, remember about the wings, right? The areas outside of the happy zone, you will have to once you start the motion, you do the split step, of course. Then you turn, do your timing loop, set step on the right foot, break step, get back, run in split step, and left, right, break step, get back. Three more seconds. Three, two, one, go. Here we go. Split step, timing loop, very important. You don't want to get to the ball and then start your um, swing routine, right? You want to do it as you run, save your time. So it's all about the time. Give your, uh, give your opponent as less time as possible and save as much time for yourself to rest and get back. Here we go. And split step. Again, your shoes are not clapping. Your hips are staying low as you run. Yes, bring that outside hip around. Bring it over. And done. Yes. Here we go. Okay, so the next drill. It's called a star drill. We love to do it, uh, to do it at King Grand Tennis Academy. We are doing it to review every single direction. So you can. So the directions are: twelve o'clock, uh, two o'clock, three o'clock, four o'clock, six o'clock, seven, nine, eleven. So again, so it's crisscross this way, and then angulars like a snowflake. Sorry, I didn't mean to be too complicated. So. It's um, just cross this way and then cross as an X cross. Every step of the way. Yes. So we're going to stay within the happy zone and we're going to go for counter uh, clock. We're going to go clockwise. So we're going to go from 1 to 12. So we're going to start with 180 forehand, angular forehand, right, right, right forehand, angular forehand. 180, and then we're gonna start 180 backhand, and then everything backhand over here until 180 backhand. Okay, I hope it makes sense. If it doesn't, just repeat it again. Here we go, ready? And just, just look what Rina does. Let's go. Here we go, we're gonna start in three, two, one, go. Forward, yes, and get back. So here, she actually changes direction a lot, so she does a split step, 
as she comes back to center. Yes. And then 180. Bring that hip around. Now back end. 180. Yes, and now angular. Here we go, doing good. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Now left, left, right, left. Break step, angular, right, right. Yes, and remember here, you don't bring your left arm too far. Yes, and get back. Ooh. Doing good. Okay, this is not for time. You just need to uh, finish the whole figure. Okay, and now we're gonna go counterclockwise. We're gonna go from 12 to one. Okay? And we're gonna start with the backhand, 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 backhand. Then we're gonna switch to forehand. Again, Rina is righty. If you're lefty, it's opposite. Okay, and ready, go. Okay, backhand, not too far. Get back, split step. Get back. I want you to pay attention how low Rina stays all the time. She never, throughout the whole exercise, she never stood straight like this. She was always low and her shoes very, very, were very soft. Good. Yes, she saved that time on the break step. She got back again, break step, get back. 180, push the ground and get back. Ooh, yes. Awesome job. Again, that's a perfect exercise to review and to, and you can do it whenever, however you want. We just made it a little bit easier so you don't get confused, but you can switch it up as you want. You can go for angular, then you go can go for 180, uh, switch to the lateral, just do your best, okay? We're gonna finish up with the stretching. Ooh, yeah. Rina, thank you. That was a hard one. Ooh. Here we go. So we're gonna do the downward dog calf stretch. So you're gonna get in the mountain position. First into the plank, and then don't bring your shoes too far. Okay, make sure that your back is straight. Pick up your left foot and put it on the right. And now try to push your heel towards the ground. So that way you can stretch out your calf and a little bit of the hamstring. Again, make sure that your back is straight and you can bounce up and down for a little bit. Feel that nice stretch. Let's switch the legs, put the left shoe down on the ground, bring up the right one and bounce up and down just a little bit. Here we go. Couple more seconds. Yes. Okay, staying in the same position, bring your head down and stretch out the shoulders. Stretch the shoulders, bring your head down and you stretch your calves at the same time. Try uh, so your arms are not sliding forward so the surface should be a little bit grippy and scratch. Here we go. Good, enough. Okay, stand up. Make a lock out of your palms, lock up your palm or your fingers behind your back and bring your chest forward. And now pull your, your arms a little bit backwards. That way you will feel nice stretch in your chest. Here we go. Couple more bounces. You can kind of lean over forward. Good. Okay. Thank you very much for staying with us today. That was a review day, and we covered a lot throughout this week and the past week, so it's very essential just, you know, just to settle everything in your head. Thank you, Rina, for showing and demonstrating every single one. Yeah, thanks, Coach Elvira, for explaining. Thank I mean, you. we really need to practice it as many, as many times as we need to build up muscle memory, and I think that exercise is perfect for that, so just, Keep doing that outside of practice time with us anytime you can. Thank you very much. And be, 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 be. <laughs> Oh yeah, we're gonna try again, we're gonna try again. Here we go. One, two, three. Be, 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 be the exception. We did it, oh my God. <laughs>